and gentlemen, tonight it has been my honor to share with you my trip to Thule Air Base high in the Arctic of Greenland. It is a beautiful but desolate place so far north that while I was there, the sun was up 24 hours a day, and yet still, I could not get a tan. <laughs> but I was honored to meet so many of the Space Force service members who are known as Guardians. They had, they'd shown me the hard work and dedication they put into keeping the rest of us safe, so I figured I'd repay them by showing them what I do best, telling jokes and drinking alcohol. I wanted to thank the service members at Thule for making me feel at home, so I invited them out for a night of fun at the Top of the World Bar, and they all came. I hope someone was watching the radars. Please welcome the host of The Late Show, Stephen Colbert! <laughs> Tule Air Base, good evening, or good morning, or whatever the f time it is up here. <laughs> it's my honor to be here today. And thank you all for coming here tonight. I mean, y'all could be anywhere right now. <laughs> you could be in your room, or outside getting, like, rocks for your collection. <laughs> and that, that's about it. But still, you chose to be here, and I am honored to be with you. Unfortunately, I can only visit your base for about 24 hours, but I know most of you will be here for a year. Or to put that in Thule terms, about two sunsets. <laughs> and that's the kind of a commitment I'm talking about. Not only have you chosen to serve your country, you chose to serve it here. You chose to go someplace so far north that the compass points west. <laughs> so far north, the northern lights are south here. So far north, you can smell when Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer takes a crap. <laughs> and yes, it smells like candy canes. <laughs> and while the Space Force may be the newest branch in the armed forces, your mission to protect our interests in space and expand our satellite communication capabilities is important to all Americans. But there's one thing about the Space Force I have to address right here. Every other branch of the military has their own anthem. Anchors Away, Halls of Montezuma, Wild Blue Yonder. But I recently found out the Space Force is so new that while you've got a 120-year-old Sousa march called the Invincible Eagle, it doesn't have any lyrics yet. That ends tonight. <laughs> or today. Again, what <laughs> time is this? <laughs> I wanted to give them a Space Force anthem to be proud of, but I couldn't do it alone. So to help me, I smuggled up Grammy Award-winning country music star and Navy vet, Sturgill Simpson. And hit it. Hail the Guardians, vigil keep pain on the earth both night and day. Watching over you One last mission, Operation Buy Everyone Around, and tear the roof off the base with some hot karaoke. And I can't go on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Chief Master Sergeant of the United States Space Force burned this mother down. He sang what this bass is really all about, Radar Love.
profoundly grateful to be able to experience everything these troops do up here to keep us safe back home. It was a trip that I'd never forget, but it was eventually time to leave this isolated base at the top of the world, and as I took off, one thought filled my mind. No we forgot Sturgill Simpson. Steven! 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 Thank you, Sturgill Simpson, for joining me up at Thule. Sturgill, I promise. I promise I'll come back as soon as the sun comes back. And when we return, I'll answer candid questions from some of the service members. Stick around.